What's going on everybody? My name is MT and welcome back to yet another Guardians of the Galaxy Easter Egg video because I'll get help when I'm ready. Blah 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 intro, blah blah blah, check the playlist in the description, blah blah blah, let's just get this over with. <laughs> so, while the Collector is talking to the Guardians about how awesome purple rocks are for murder, he briefly mentions this group of cosmic space beings who think that they can control the power of the Power Stone by standing around in a circle singing Kumbaya with rope connected to their belly buttons. However, shockingly, belly button rope and Negro spirituals were apparently not enough to stop the magic purple rock from killing them all instantaneously, and so they all died, which is a bummer, but don't feel too sad though, because if they all paid attention in geology class, their asses will still be alive today. But anyways, my point is, no one really knows just who these guys are. I mean, there's no official name for these people other than cosmic beings on the MCU wiki. Like when Guardians 1 first came out, a lot of people thought that they were the MCU equivalent of the comic book big-headed magic man babies known as the Watchers, and I did too. But after watching a particular Marvel movie, we all know that that is not the case because... Yeah, they're not the Watchers. They're they're not the Watchers. So, that all being said, just who the hell are these guys? Well, after a shit ton of research, I have come to the conclusion that these guys are not just not the Watchers, these guys might just be the Watchers Watchers. Hey, don't look at me like I'm crazy, okay? If the Watchers be watching, then somebody's gotta be watching the Watchers Watch, because watch this. These Watcher Watchers got watches, because they're the timekeepers. Okay, MT, slow the hell down. Watches? Timekeepers? Like, what the hell's a timekeeper? That is a good question with an answer that is very complex. It is very confusing. But I will do my best to break it all down into super basic layman's terms to the best of my own knowledge. Okay. So, in the Marvel comics, there is the main Marvel Universe known as Earth-616, where all of the heroes that we know live, like Spider-Man, Iron Man, all of them, they all live in Earth-616, and then there are an infinite amount of other universes out there, like, at least a bajillion, and this concept is called the multiverse. And like all good stories, the multiverse has a beginning and an end. Well, all good stories with the exception of Grey's Anatomy and Supernatural because the sun will literally explode before those shows are taken off the air. Anyways, at the end of the multiverse, after everybody and everything that has ever lived has died and the last bits of light and heat begin to fade from the cosmos, never to be seen again, there's an old man with eggs! And this old man is known as He Who Remains, and he made these eggs to be a gift of knowledge to the future. Because knowledge is important, because how else will you get a new Lamborghini? New Lamborghini knowledge. But MT, how can there be a future if we're talking about the end of all time as we know it? Listen man, I don't know, okay? This shit hurts my brain too. But it helps to just view Marvel Multiverse time like a circle, like you're drawing a circle. Like you start where you're going to finish, and you finish where you're going to start. So, at the end of the Marvel Multiverse, time cycle, everything will die and a new cycle will begin again. Get it? Good. Me neither. Shit is complicated as fuck. But anyways, basically, the old man laid some eggs or whatever with the hopes that whatever little cosmic chickens hatched out of them would pass along the lessons that were learned throughout the course of that multiverse to the next multiverse cycle so people could avoid the errors of the past. But little did the old man know that his eggs were rotten, and when they hatched, they didn't hatch chickens at all. They hatched assholes, big-headed assholes known as the Time Twisters. And since they were hatched at the end of time, the Time Twisters were obsessed with finding out what the beginning of time looked like. So, they ended up traveling back in time to the beginning of time. But little did they know that everywhere they went, everything died, like they walked around turning people and planets into dust. They destroyed Earth multiple times, like every 3,000 years. So when Thor found out, he was like, Hearken unto me, ugly time elves. Thou art fuckething shit up. Oh wow, really? We thought we were helping out. Nay, thou doth leave death, destruction, and many insurance claims in your wake. Cease this activity at once. Hmm. Well, first of all, no. And second of all, wait, no, that that's it. Just no. We don't care. Bye. And so, Thor tries to fight them, but that doesn't work out because they are super powerful. Like, they are way too powerful. And so, that being the case, Thor just decides to just casually time travel to the end of time to confront the old man. And Thor's all like, Hearken unto me, crusty old man. Thou art fuckathing shit up. Oh boy, company. I was so lonely. Let me tell you guys about the time I was the last director of the Time Variance Authority. Cease your babbling, sarcophagus. Thy eggs are rotten! My eggs are... rotten? But my time-traveling chickens! Just kill the eggs, you foolish fossil! But I want my chickens to grow up and be valued members of society! You will kill them now! 
And so the old man aborts the little evil fetus babies and makes a new, better batch of eggs that would hatch into the cosmic timekeepers, keepers of the time. The timekeepers are basically these cosmic beings in charge of keeping all the time in the multiverse neat and tidy, taking steps to get rid of any people or realities that pose a threat to the time stream or their own existence. Like, I do not understand why everybody talks about the Watchers, but nobody likes to talk about the timekeepers because they play such a huge role in the Marvel cosmic multiverse because they exist outside of the Marvel multiverse. And fun fact, they are the only versions of themselves in all of the multiverse, and they are above any and all authority in the multiverse. Like, not even the living tribunal, the master of the multiverse, can tell these mofos what to do because they do what they want. Smoke weed every day. And they are the ones who gave Uatu the Watcher his extra dimensional window so he could have the ability to observe other dimensions. They literally gave the Watcher the ability to watch. Also, if you look closely, you will notice that the Watcher's purple extra dimensional window looks a lot like the purple windows that the Collector used to show the Guardians the things that happened in the past, like in the forever ago past. Which begs the question, just how in the hell did this man get all of this professional, high quality, old ass video footage? Look, I know the Collector in the comics is as old as Sin, with him being born a little bit after the Big Bang, but unless the Collector got the Turtle Cameraman from the Mario games on his payroll, there has got to be a reasonable explanation for why this man has camera angles for days. I'm thinking, and this is just a hypothesis, that the MCU version of the Collector may have some ties with these timekeepers, and that they just might be the source of his prolonged lifespan. And hell, maybe they're the reason why the Collector is collecting in the first place, because Benicio Del Toro has come on record saying that the Collector knows that something terrible is eventually going to happen in the universe, and that he's collecting samples of everything in a very Noah's Ark kind of fashion. So maybe when the universe restarts, the Collector is responsible for repopulating the universe. I don't know, just a thought. Also, if you look closely at one of the Collector's tables, you can see what looks like the dried up fetus of a time twister. Possibly. Who knows? I think it is. But then again, I have a reputation of seeing what I want to see. You can also see some really interesting things related to the Marvel concept of time and time travel within the logo of the Collector's organization, the Tavon Group. And at the very center of the logo, you can see what appears to be an arrow with a circle on top. That is a symbol mainly associated with the Space Phantom, one of the first villains the Avengers ever faced who, coincidentally, lives in limbo, a realm that exists outside of time where all of time basically exists at the same time. It's weird. Don't worry about it. And Limbo is a realm frequently used for time travel by time travelers like Zarko the Tomorrow Man, a villain in the Thor comics whose time machine is actually what brought Thor to the old man at the end of time. And guess what symbol Zarko the Tomorrow Man has on his time machine? Um, this one, a pentagon. At any rate, if a version of Limbo does exist within the MCU, I would assume that it would be the dark dimension from Doctor Strange, as it could possibly serve as another potential MCU explanation as to how the collector can live so long because the Anchu one actually sucked the power from the dark dimension to make yourself live long. But anyways, moving on, another potential easter egg in relation to time is this rock right here. In a previous video, I thought that this rock could just be a piece of vibranium, but I'm actually thinking that this rock could and might just be Starstone. For those of you who don't know, Starstone is a mysterious space rock formed after the Big Bang that is comprised of a bunch of condensed matter from a previous Marvel Universe that the wizard Merlin used to make the mystical magical Ebony Blade, a blade used by the Marvel hero Black Knight. And if you look near that stone, you can see what I think is the skeleton of a small dragon, which could also point to Merlin as well because in at least one iteration, Merlin has a small little dragon buddy, like some type of Miss Frizzle. And fun fact, the Star Stone was actually given to Merlin by another time traveler by the name of Professor Gamble, who is the most shameless parody of Doctor Who ever, which means that technically the Marvel Universe has their own canon version of Doctor Who. If that isn't ammo for some dope Marvel fan fiction, I don't know what is. Also, I think it's worth mentioning that the shirt that Peter and Barit wear in Guardians 1 could be a nice little Black Knight nod as the bird and the sun on the shirt resembles the insignia on Black Knight's armor. Anyways, is that it? Yep, I think that's it. Timekeepers and or Starstone. That's all I got. I'm very tired.
don't want to do this anymore, except I will. And as always, thank you to everybody who has tweeted my Easter egg videos to James Gunn in the past. And if you could do that one more time, that would be amazing. And be sure to tag me in the tweet at Mastertainment because I want to see and thank everybody who tweets James Gunn because you guys are awesome people. I'm talking really fast because my battery is about to go out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it or just leave a thumbs up or share this video. That also makes me happy on the inside. My name is MT and um, if I get this Easter egg, I, I feel like I deserve to be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because because I could do some really good work. And now I'd probably just slack off.